any football player in our area knows about the tradition of success at St. John Fisher. The Cardinals have set the standard on the gridiron. A perennial contender for the Empire 8 Conference Championship and a spot in the NCAA playoffs, they haven't had a losing record since 2001. Stands to reason, if you're looking to be a part of something special, Fisher could be the right place. Yeah, it's everything and more. I love the guys here. It's a great team. The coaches are great. You know, they really coached me up. I mean, I was kind of not raw coming out of Eastridge, but they kind of fine-tuned me and made me the player I am. So I'm very happy with my experience so far. Right, that? One of the things that has made Mortalero's time with the Cardinals so rewarding is the attention he and the rest of the players get from the coaching staff. It's nothing against the coaches they had previously. It's just because of the situation. In high school, they have a lot of things to worry about. They have extracurriculars to worry about. Here, they're more focused on football, you know. The coaches have more time to, to focus on you, your, you know, the team and everything, and they have more techniques and everything. And it's nothing against the coaches in high school. They just don't have the time that these guys have. So I think that overall, they've just fine to me and made me the player I am right now. Mortalero is the type of player a coach loves to work with. One of the smallest men on the roster, he is one of the leaders in Division Three and passes deflected. One of the stats that earned him preseason All-American honors. He is proof that even in football, size doesn't always matter. He's a very smart football player and, and our players need to watch him because he's not the biggest, he's not the strongest, he's not the fastest, but he's a great player. I mean, he's an all-conference player for us, a preseason All-American, which he earned the right to be a preseason All-American because he plays very smart out there. He doesn't make a lot of mental mistakes. And that makes up, because he's mentally so good, that makes him physically even better in that. So he, yeah, he's just a great, smart football player. more of a tactical game for me because I'm so small and because these guys are so much bigger and sometimes faster and more athletic I have to be more tactical in my in my uh, like pursuit because I have to know the routes they're gonna run more so than just make the play I have to know when to jump when to time everything and it's it's tough but you know I've tried to perfect it as best as I can so another reason that Mortalero can see what the quarterback is seeing is because he used to be one Alec was a standout on both sides of the ball at Eastridge leading the Lance to a Section 5 title in his senior year. You kind of have a mind of a quarterback. Granted, I didn't throw the ball much in high school, but I mean, you still kind of have the mind and the mindset of being a quarterback. You think, okay, third and short, I just want to get this first down. I don't want to try anything deep. Or it's third and short and you go, oh, maybe I do want to try something deep and maybe hit a double move or something like that. So you always got those things in the back of your mind while you're playing. And being a quarterback in high school kind of helped me out in that way. Playing both ways proved how durable Mortalero was, and it's another one of the qualities that his coach loves, his toughness. He'll take on anybody. He don't care how big the running back is, wide receiver. He'll take him on guards, he'll take on. And he'll play hurt, he'll get banged and thrown around, and he gets right back up and plays again. So he, uh, he's a very tough kid. Hey, this is the last thing we got right now. We talk about it constantly. We need to finish this. This is the last day of full contact practice. Last time we popped the pads before we go strap it up for real. Let's go, finish baby. strong. Let's go, baby. Do not let them Come in the on, end zone. Let's go. Cardinals on three. One, two, three. Cardinals. Here we go. He enjoys the game. And, and you like it when you have guys that really enjoy playing football. And he really enjoys playing football and, and that. And I think the other kids see it and that spreads around to the other kids too that he really has fun out here on the, on the practice field and on the game field.